Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate how to install Elmer on Mac OS Big Source version 1101. On the screen, you see the CSC's website where I can get information about Elmer, download binaries or source code, find documentation, white papers, and even examples among others. I'm gonna go ahead and click on source and compilation. Here, we find step-by-step -step how to compile Elmer on your computer. Before we go ahead and go step-by-step, -step, I will recommend making sure that you have the right packages in order to compile and install Elmer on your personal computer. So what I'm gonna do is the easiest way on a Mac would be to use Homebrew, which is a package manager. And with this, we will be able to download and install the two packages that we need to install the most bare um, version of Elmer, which is for serial computer. Evidently, if you need to do parallel computing with Elmer, then you will have to download other packages. So first things first, I will first uh, make sure that I have installed Homebrew in my system. So I'm gonna go and copy this command over here, go to terminal, make sure that you have admin rights. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste enter your password. You might not have to do this if you have admin rights and install. So what this will do is allow you to download the packages that you need. In particular, we will be downloading two, which will be GCC and CMake. GCC is simply a compiler. Um, so the code uh, Elmer is basically developed in two different languages. You have, so we will need not only a, a C compiler, but we're also gonna need a um, Fortran compiler. So we get with GCC, we get GFortran, and we will be good to go. And then to compile it, CMake makes it easier. So we can actually develop some make files. So now that we are, ready to download the packages that we need. Let me just clear the screen so we can see it clearly. We can go ahead and type in brew install and let's start with GCC. And we're gonna do the same thing later on with CMake. You can do it at the same time, but I think for a video, and so you can actually follow step-by-step, step, it's nicer if we do it one by one. Now, GCC is a little, a little big. So what I'm gonna do is while this downloads and installs, I will pause the video and we will resume once this has been downloaded and installed. So that, now that we have uh, downloaded and installed both GCC and, and CMake, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that they are actually accessible. So now I'm gonna open a new terminal window. Just put it in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna clear it so we can see it more clearly. And then uh, I'm gonna make sure that I have both GCC and CMake. So let's just check uh, CMake first. Let's see what version of CMake we have. So it is available. And then let's do the same thing, GCC version. So now this is uh, the tricky part. You see, GCC actually comes with Xcode and it's part of the operating system. So whenever you call CC, you're actually using something called CLAN, 
clan. And this is now the compiler that you will need in order to compile and install Elmer yourself. So let's, so let's go ahead and, um, and um, change this. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go to, I'm in the root directory. So I'm gonna go and open my bash profile. You might not have it. So if you don't have it, you have to create it. And in here, what I'll do is I'm gonna export the path that you see here which is basically where Homebrew installs everything. And then what I'm gonna do is just ensure that the system reads this first, and then I'm gonna create an alias. So whenever you are fetching GCC, you're actually fetching GCC 10 from the seller directory. Once we're done with this, I write and quit. And then once again, well, I'm gonna close this one so we can actually refresh the window. I'm gonna open a new window and I will check again. So I'm gonna check both just again to make sure that everything is fine. So CMake version and GCC version. As you see now I'm using GCC 10, which is the homebrew one that we downloaded ourselves. So now that we have this piece of information and everything is set up to install Elmer, let's go back to the website and I'm gonna place them side by side. So you see that we're following the instructions one at the time. So what I'm gonna do is let me clear the screen again. So let's start here. The first thing is we need to create a directory and we need to get into the directory and download the source code. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go make directory. We're gonna call it Elmer. We're gonna go into the directory and we're gonna clone, which basically means that we're gonna download the source code from the repository. So I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it here, press return. So now we're getting the source code to be able to compile Elmer ourselves. So this also will take a couple of minutes. So I will just pause the video now and I'll resume once this has been downloaded. Okay, now that we have the source code and we can actually see it, let's just list it, it's Elmer Femme. So now what we're going to do is follow the next set of instructions. So to build the code, let's create our uh, directory called build and let's go inside. So make directory build, let's go into the folder. And now this is why we need CMake because then we can configure our compilation using the keyword CMake. So I'm just gonna copy and paste all the information we have on the website, but let's analyze it a little bit. So I'm gonna install Elmer without the GUI. That's why it's set to false. Let me just maybe stretch the screen a little so we can read a little better. So I'm not gonna use MPI. So this, as I said, is to run Elmer serially. However, if you wanna take advantage of Elmer's parallel capabilities, you will have to install it with MPI. This tutorial, however, is just to install Elmer in the most simplest way and using the instructions you see on the website. So here you see that we're gonna create uh, the install folder and we're gonna use the information that is in our um, 
Elmer FEM directory. So once you have everything set up, press return. So now it will identify that you have the right compilers and you have all the files that you need. It will create a make file that will allow you to actually compile Elmer. This is relatively quick, so I'm not gonna pause the video. So here it's finding everything it needs. And as you see, like it found the Fortune compiler, C compiler, and it's using the GCC that we want it to. And if you don't have BLAST or LAPAC libraries, you will have to download it, but it normally comes with an Xcode that comes from, uh, from the Mac OS itself. However, the same as before, sometimes you wanna use your own libraries and you wanna compile them yourself. So you, you need to see how this is done. So now the files have been generated and have been saved under build. So let's clear the screen. And now let's just do the final step, which would be to actually compile it. Here we can compile it two ways. Remember here, we did this uh, without, um, without the GUI. So we can skip this step. We already did it. We did it with this command. And now we go to the installation process. So we can use make install or make minus J4 install, which simply uses uh, four processes. So I will just use that, make And now it will install Elmer on your computer. This will take around maybe 10 minutes uh, or so, maybe less. So for that reason, once again, I'm gonna pause the video and we'll resume once this has finished. Now that the installation has finished, we can check if the installation has actually been successful. So here we can run this test. We can type C test and four processes, press return. So now Elmer will start running tests to make sure that it's been installed successfully. Most of them will pass, sometimes some of them don't, and it's okay. There are many tests. So as you see here, we have 643. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it. And we're gonna do one more step, which will be the last one of this series of videos. So I'm gonna clear this. So now if we actually go to the Elmer folder and we list it, we see that we have the build directory, Elmer FEM and the install directory. Now, as mentioned in the instructions, now the next step would be to set the environmental uh, variables. And the reason is now that we installed Elmer, we want to make sure that we can run it everywhere in every terminal window. As you can see, let's say, uh, let's say I'm interested in the Elmer grid. It would tell me the Elmer grid is not, um, it cannot find it. So we saw before that it was running. So we definitely know it's been installed. So now what we need to do is set these environmental uh, variables. And here it says bash RC, but uh, as we know from before, um, in Mac operating system, it's actually called bash profile. So I'm gonna go back to the root 
and I'm gonna go back to my bash profile. And because I'm already working on my root, I can literally just go ahead and copy just as is all of this and put it in my bash profile. That way, if I go back, right quit, I will have to open a fresh window though. Remember that. Let's just check now that Elmer, both Solver and Grid are installed. So here we see Elmer Grid. And now we actually can see that Elmer Grid is available. So here we typed in our command and here we have Elmer Grid. And in the same fashion, we have Elmer Solver. So similarly, evidently there's an error because, sorry, there's an error because we're not running any files, but I just want to show you that it's available for use through command line in the terminal if you want to use it. So now you're ready and you can start working with Elmer. I hope this tutorial helps you to install Elmer and get started with numerical simulations. Thank you.